You better not try that kind of stuff on your next test. Chapter 26 We had such high hopes for you, said Carl, shaking his head. He and Isabel escorted Max down the sterile hallway. I didn't mean to be rude to the interviewer, said Max. Honest, I'm sure he's a very nice man. But he kept asking all the wrong questions. Is that so, said Isabel. She and Carl were moving so briskly, Max had to speed walk to keep up with them. Dr. Einstein is your hero, correct? Yeah, I'm his number one fan. Well, since you didn't like our professional interviewer's line of questioning, what question would you have liked to answer? asked Carl. Something more open-ended, maybe? Which do you think is the most important of Einstein's theories? You're kidding, right? said Max. You guys know Einstein. You know that's not a very good question. How so? Determining the most important of Einstein's theories depends on what's important to you. It's all relative. Carl actually smiled. It was a tiny one, but Max could tell he was actually amused by her answer. Isabel halted her march up the corridor so she could whip around and peer into Max's eyes. What would be a good question then? Max pondered. She thought about Einstein's civil rights activism, his pacif pacif oh, pacifism, even though his theories were used to help develop the atomic bomb that ended World War II, his constant championing of the underdog. Hmm. She had her answer. If I were running the interviews for CMI, I would ask each and every contestant one simple question. What can people living today learn from Professor Albert Einstein? And how would you answer that question? Easy. <clears throat> Dr. Einstein could teach us all about how to be human. Wasn't that what you were talking about yesterday, Isabel, when you convinced me not to quit? You said, and I quote, If we are to help save the human race, we must first recognize the humanity in all no matter their station in life. Carl and Isabel looked at each other. Now they were both smiling. And what would be the human thing to do right now? Asked Isabel. Easy. You have all these super smart kids cooped up in dormitories and testing rooms. You have them spinning back facts, penciling in dots on answer sheets, when they all could be learning something new. Have any of them even had a chance to do something fun, like, I don't know, take a tour of, of Jerusalem? You raise a good point, Max, said Carl. Admittedly, the testing has taken priority over the fun. Well, said Max, you know what Dr. Einstein said. Creativity is intelligence having fun. Your eight geniuses might be more creative if you let them go outside and have a little fun. Very well, said Isabel. Round up the others. We shall arrange for a guided tour of the city. Woo-hoo, said Max, pumping her arm. Field trip. She quickly caught herself. Sorry, was that too loud? No, said Carl. It was fun. <laughs>